Hey guys, welcome back to Crossing the Bus. Here it is right here, spring roundup. We've got to get the Big Joe Herd caught in our trap and get them ready for working tomorrow. But before we let them go to start the grazing season, we've got an obstacle we got to handle. Yeah. All right, kids, time to go play. Where are you going? Come on, go. Go play. Recess again. Recess. You get to go out. Come on, I got work to do. Where are you going? Shoo, shoo, shoo. You kids go. <sighs> go, shoo. Sloppy, sloppy mess. It's gonna be a great day of work in bison. Shoo! Nobody will figure it out. You guys can go. Shoo! Go play. Just for a little bit. We're gonna let this dry out. Go! Come on. Shoo! Well, Y'all aren't very smart today. Well, some of them figured it out. There you go. Just takes one or two. Okay. There goes the party. You guys are gonna be left behind. Come on. Shoot. See, they figured it out. Go. Jeez. About time. Really? Don't be that kid. The reason I'm letting them out in the trap, the main trap, is this is so muddy. I've had rain for three days. Calves been in here, it's a muddy mess. I need some of this to dry because there's gonna be a lot of traffic tomorrow during working. Tumbar. <laughs> oh, some old Dunbar coming out. How about that? This bale of hay will be used to feed the whole herd when they come up. <clears throat> Usually I can give them one or two and they're, they're all good. They're in here for probably less than 24 hours. They are in here. Dunbar! You excited, buddy? Like old times sake. Happy Dunbar. Let's wrap. Hi guys, what we're doing is uh, we got the we've got me and this kids here. We got Sam Shaw and the ATV with his welder, and then behind him, Joel's driving my truck to go pick up some pipe on the utility trailer. We are working on a creek crossing today. I got the unit with me. I got the right guys. The guys have been helping me do and Marissa a lot of stuff in the Ponderosa and at the cabins. Some good guys. We're gonna work on a, a creek fence crossing got to get taken care of because it's where the bison got out last year and we're about to let them out into the burn unit again start the grazing rotation so we're gonna get to work we're gonna learn a couple things today all right so we just drove through the hay meadow Sam and Joel are behind me. I've got the two and seven eighths pipe with the trailer and it is soggy. So we're gonna go over here to our creek location. See if we can get there safely. Uh, it is super green over here. You can see the road, but it's very green. No animals have been on this since July of last year. I wanna say maybe August. This is the last time Dunbar and the Haas herd was out here, basically. Um, and we did the roundup with the horses and the ATV. This was the last place they were. But you 
and see some of the water. They're gonna run through real quick. As soon as we work them, they're gonna come out here to this area where all the spring grasses are very strong right now. It's awesome, beautiful, beautiful. It's amazing what happens when you let the land rest. All critters like it, not just the bison, it's everyone. Oh, deer tracks. Oh yeah, they should be running through here. Yeah, I think I'd like the back down here. Yeah, if you can, you yeah, I mean, you may can turn around after you go down here and look, but yeah. I was just worried about how soggy it so was. Turn... There's some places in the woods where you may can turn around. Did you burn in here? Yeah. It didn't burn all these vines? No. I burned it a little late. Yeah. But... I threw some rye out, but I hadn't taken hold yet. Well, I planted some rye in my backyard because I live on a floodplain. Mm -hmm. Man, it took off. That, that's an owl. Yeah, the deer should be running through here. There's a lot of water right now. Yeah. We need to rip that panel out. I think it'd be really cool. That was the one that got washed away and let it all flow. Yeah. If I bring my, my skid steel down here, we may can do it if I got some chain to wrap around it. But this is pretty much it. It's It's gone, it's widened. Do you remember there was a tree that came across here? Cut yeah, it down. Yeah, I remember that. I big just old, haven't seen it from this side. Big old cottonwood. take a minute sam's gonna back the welder up down here in this the lane because there's really not any room to turn around he could have done it here i guess but we're going ahead and tying up our string got our skid steer parked here so we can have room for our skid steer to sit and drive the post here <laughs> come on sam you got it all right so what we've got is a we're putting a short two and seven eighths here. It's gonna be our down. Long two and seven eighths. Long two and seven eighths. So here's our cut two joints at uh, 10 feet long. And that's just the leftover piece. It's a 30, 30 or 33 foot joint. So we've got our piece there. And what we'll do, we're gonna drive a short piece closest to the water. It'll go about four feet in the ground, four to five feet in the ground. We'll put a long and a long. So this will be our H brace here with our down brace because the pressure and the tension is gonna be pulled this way from the cable that's also gonna be pulled from up there because the tension is gonna be this way. And here, that's when we're gonna put our down brace here for our fence crossing on our livestock fence crossing. Meanwhile, Sam is still trying to back up. Slow and steady. Hope you got long leads. Huh? You got long leads. 100 foot. <laughs> You're getting stuck. <laughs> I, I told you. That's why. That's why we didn't drive a truck down here. Hey, here's this joint. There is no way we would have been able to get a truck down here. <laughs> no way. I told you. <laughs>
somewhere? Hold on, stay tight there. <laughs> They're excited. She is jazzed up. Ranch hand, CEO, boss slash wife. You want to trade me? No, go. This joint's going to stop. Roll it right back here to your right. That's your left. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna drop it. You're gonna you're gonna drop it on your left. I'm gonna drop it on my right. One, two, three. So he's gonna put a down brace. Okay. And then are you stretching barbed wire? No. What I got to thinking is we've got some panels sitting there. We're just gonna put panels across there for now. This creek may look familiar to you. You guys remember this creek this is where the bison got out well we're down here hanging out at the creek today bison are up here on the hill big joe herds out eating some green grass well we got joel and sam they've been down here most of the week working on uh some projects at their our cabins down by arbuckle lake if you guys didn't know anything about our cabins we have some cabins marissa and i do rocky point cabins link is in the description well, Sam and Joel got them down here. This is a big undertaking. Well, we've been looking into this, looking into this, and couldn't find a very good solution. Kind of took a whole bunch of people's ideas and are going to make our own, basically, for this fence creek crossing, right? Because about right there, that new fence did not exist, but about right there last year, I had some panels tied up. Creek came through, and I was not paying attention. Fence came down, bison got out. When we rotated them in the burn unit here to graze, we're going to tie it all in to this fence, built it first, and then we've done this today. We drove these three posts. Sam and Joel are welding it up. We're going to tie in to this fence up here. This is a challenge, is letting the water flow with something and let the debris come because stuff like this happens and then your fence can be ripped completely off. Here it is right here, spring roundup. We'll see how it goes. Our boy here, Big Joe, he's already ready to come through the gate. His uh, his best friend, Dunbar, is hanging out over there. He's already pinned up, ready to be worked. Big Joe just can't stand it. Got the girls with me. Brooks and Marissa. Maya, and don't forget about bullets in there. I guess we'll just open this up and Maybe they'll come in? let them in. I bet they will. We'll just go out there. See, they're not very far. They're just right over here. Here's the hiccup though. There's two babies in here, Bellstar and Little Quapaw. So I'm not worried about them. They can come in this trap, but as far as, I, I, we're not working them tomorrow. It's too sketchy. So they're gonna go back out. We can dart those mamas later, is what I think. Yeah. Gotta keep those little red dogs safe. Yeah, here comes some more. Get our 3C going here. Whoa, he just destroyed that. He just destroyed that Bella Hay. Big Joe. Yeah, I think he's showing us how they're just coming in.
I think there's maybe like eight left, Dusty. There's eight yeah. I know. There, I mean, there's the two mama. There, I think it's Eleanor's in the back. Oh, there's two. Oh, she must be about ready to cab. There's one way back there. Oh, here comes one. I know, but th I there's one that looks like she's about to calf because she's she was walking really slow and she just didn't look like she wanted to come in. Woo! Oh. Oh. Woo! Somebody's gonna play. Last. Oh, why are we going this way? Well, I'm just going in circles trying to keep them busy. Why are you keeping them busy? Keeping them busy with cubes. Okay, Eleanor is staying out here. She, we're not gonna bring her in a trap. She'll stress her out. It's too close for all the animals to be tied to her. She can't escape, essentially. So, um, <clears throat> she's right here next to him. So she can still smell him, see him. Um, and now she gets <laughs> way more cubes than any of the rest of them. So she's fine. And what we'll do with Eleanor is we will dart her after all this and it's much safer last year it slowed us down she um her short vision short distance is rough and so bringing her in here will cause lots of problems so for the sake of eleanor and keep her safe and you know happy she can stay out here she can still smell them and see them and get her cubes she gets lots of cubes so special treatment for our girl do you want me to unlock the door? Please. Oh, I guess I locked it. <laughs> we need to count how many we have so that um, yes, we do. we'll be back here tomorrow morning and we're working bison. Thank you guys.